Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Come on in. Come on in. I love it. Look at all these fabulous people. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. Look at this. Come on in, everyone. We are bringing in some more chairs. We are bringing in some more chairs. What a fabulous challenge to have. Uh, but also, let's... If you have any chairs around you, also let's move in, squish in, squish in. If you have some chairs in between you that are open, I invite you to fill those to open up the side chairs for those around you.
Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Wait a second. You do see that this space is filled like this. It's filled. We're even trying to bring out more chairs. And all I heard was this guy right here in the front tell me Shabbat Shalom. What's going on? Let's try that again. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. There it is. Fabulous, wonderful, fantastic. Uh, come on in. Come on in. My name is David Eshel. I'm one of our rabbis here at Wilshire Boulevard Temple on the beam with Cantor, Kareth, Spencer Shapiro. And who else do we have with us this evening? Oh, you know, this is one of my favorite evenings because we have our youth choir. Youth choir, will you stand up for a second? Yes. They have worked so hard all year, and this is their last time on the Bema wow. this year. So we're so excited. You can sit down again now, but we'll have you stand up again soon. To my left, to your right, I have our wonderful Ian, who is our song leader, and we are so lucky to have him. He's going to be singing and playing with us this evening. And we have Larry Steen on the bass. Thank you, Larry, for holding us together. We got Ian Werfel on percussion. It's a two Ian night here. And we have Susan Rosenstein, our yes. music director on the keys. Many of you may also know her as your B'nai Mitzvah tutor. Yeah, Dane, that's so. your tutor. <laughs> this is fantastic. I mean, look, I know that we're, we've got a lot of people coming in. Hope got seats around you, but let's just think about that for a second. What a phenomenal challenge to have. What a phenomenal challenge to have, right? That this beautiful community is coming together. We have everybody from two years old to 92 years old and everything in between celebrating together, celebrating beautiful milestones. We have people beginning their Jewish journey. We have those who are continuing their Jewish journey as they leave their homes and explore new worlds to then invite them back. And we have people in that we've, oh, this is just going to be a phenomenal, phenomenal evening. So with that, uh, I want to invite up. Um, I want to invite up our B'nai Mitzvah students with their immediate families to come on up to light our Shabbat candles. Come on up, come on up, come on up. Come on up. Come on up, Dane. We're going to choose a little area right over here. Come on up, come on up. Then you can make your way inside this area. Stand right by, um, oh, that, actually maybe do it on that side. That'll probably be better for you. Yes, yes, yes. There's a set of candles for each family. So go ahead and stand, stand in front of one of them because we need you to light them. So each family needs to stand in front of one of those sets of candles. And you can pick up those lighters and light the candles and for the rest of us for the rest of us let's put some hands in the air everyone hands in the air let's see those ruach fingers ruach fingers fantastic ruach fingers how we doing oh all right now we're gonna wait one two times and three times bringing light of shabbat light to the eyes light to the soul as we sing together Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kiddushanu B'mitzvotav V'tzivanu Lehad Likner Lehad Likner Mazel tov, mazel tov, mazel tov. I'm going to invite you back to your seats. Invite you back to your seats. Fantastic. So now it is time for us to welcome in the Sabbath bride. We are going to continue with Lechadodi. With Lechadodi, we're on pages 20 and 21 in your books. We'll be singing verses 1, 2, 5, and 9. Shabbat 
love is a You may be seated. So now we're going to have the opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, to invite up all of our students who this was the first year that you were here with us in religious school. All of our students, if this was your first year, doesn't matter if you're kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, if this was your first year, I want you to invite you up over into this area where Kathy is. I also want to invite up all of the teachers if you're here, any of our teachers, any of our madrichim if you are here all of our seniors who are here to hold up this beautiful talit as we offer you a very special blessing. Our seniors will be holding the talit. Rachel, 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 Rachel. We're going to hold this beautiful talit over all of these. The talit. Now we gather round, so bring all your gifts and bring all your burdens with you. No need to hide. Come on, Elmer. arms open wide. We gather as one to make a makom kado. Oh, look at this. 
It's fabulous. We come this is so delicious over here. We come to teach, to learn. We come to grow. And so we say, the time is now. Sing to the one. God's presence is here. Shekinah, you will dwell among us. We'll make There's plenty of Torah to go around for everyone. And I love that you're all, look at all these fabulous, beautiful faces. Oh I my love it goodness. And I love you. Wow. So listen to this. Why, we have this Torah. Why are we giving this to you? Because very soon we're going to be celebrating a very special holiday. Shh. Very soon we're going to be celebrating a very special holiday called Shavuot. The Shavuot, this holiday of weeks where the Israelites receive finally this beautiful gift of Torah. But when God and Moses come down the mountain, they ask, so who's going to be in charge of taking care of this Torah? And the people say, oh, our teachers, they will be the ones. And God and Moses say, well, they're pretty good, not good enough. And then they say, how about our, our elders, our parents, our grandparents, they'll be the ones to take care of the Torah. And God and Moses says, parents, grandparents, pretty good, not good enough. So then the people said, well, what about our children? And God and Moses said, yes, our children are the ones who will take care of the Torah. So for your sake, because of you, because of you and 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 you, God gave us the Torah. It's because of your curiosity because of all the fabulous questions that you ask. And I know that you're gonna be asking wonderful questions for your entire time with us. How do I know? Because if you look around you, the people who are holding up this beautiful talit, they used to be standing right here where you are, when you were, they were all this, they were all your size before, but here they are now helping you to receive your Torah as you take on the responsibility to take care of it. So with that, my friends, we're gonna offer you this beautiful blessing that has been offered to our people for thousands of years. May God bless you and protect you. May God always shine upon you and be kind to you. May you always know that God is close, and may God grant you the greatest of all blessings, the blessing of peace. And let us all say, Amen. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. So what's going to happen a little bit later on when you go outside? Not only do you have your Torah, but you also have a beautiful, beautiful certificate that we're going to give you to remember and mark this day. You'll be at the back tables when we finish. So mazel tov to all of you. Yay. So now I'm going to invite you back to your seats with your families. You can hold on to your Torahs. Hold on to that tightly. Hold it fast. And as they're making their way back to their seats, we'll ask the rest of you to please rise for our call to prayer, the Baruch
standing nice and tall, nice and tall, nice and tall. Baruchu et Adonai Hamevorah Atur And as we chant Shema, we're going to ask our B'nai Mitzvah students to make your way up to the Bima. You can come right, I'm going to make a pathway right for you, right through here. So come on up through this way. Page 36, on page 36, we're going to continue with Verhafta. Here we go on page... Th oh, hello. Here we go. One, two, three. Together. Verhafta. Et Adonai Eloecha Becho Levavcha Ubecho Nafshecha Ubecho Meodecha Vehayu Advarim Ha'eh Asher Anochi Metzavecha Vishinantan <laughs> Uchtavtam al mezuzot betecha uvisharecha leman tiskeru vasitem met kol mitvotai vitem kedoshim leeloechem ani Adonai eloechem. Asher hotzeti etchem me'eretz mitzrayim liot lachem lelohim ani Adonai loechem. Beautiful. Are you back up? When I call you back up, please bring your prayer books with you. I'll turn to you. 
We now continue with our song of freedom, Micha Mocha. Fantastic, fantastic. So now, so just as we um, earlier had a moment to offer these beautiful Torahs to our beginning, for those our children on the beginning of their journey, it's now our opportunity and our blessing to invite up some of our seniors and their parents to also receive a blessing as they're about to make their way Leaving the nest, taking that next step, flying away, but knowing they have a beautiful foundation from which to land. Perfect, right over here. Come on up, Kathy. Come on up, come on up, seniors. And Kathy is gonna offer some words of blessing. watch these parents' arms get very tired very quickly, and try and do this very quickly. B'nai Mitzvah. Raise your hand if you're having a B'nai Mitzvah this weekend. 
Yep, yep that's or you. Next weekend, or next weekend. weekend. Or last weekend. Okay. <laughs> All of you who got a Torah, raise your hand. Raise your hand if you got a Torah. Under these tali tote are teenagers who are going to fly the coop and graduate high school in June and started just like all of you. And Cantor and Rabbi, myself, Principal Rachel, where'd she go? She's hiding in the back, um, have had the honor and the privilege to watch them grow from little people like all of you to incredible young adults. And to their parents, I want to say, their compasses are strong because you made this an important place for them. You made this their Jewish home away from home. They have grown into incredible, incredible human beings. They know this will always be their home into adulthood. And I'm incredibly grateful and feel so privileged to have been a part of your journey. So as we send you on your way, know that the religious school team, your parents, the clergy, and the staff of the synagogue are going to be with you wherever you go and every time you come home. So we're going to sing. I, I'm, I'm doing double duty now. Actually, triple duty. I'm holding the talit. I'm momming, and I'm cantering. We're going to sing um, the Shehechianu. Please join us in this prayer for first times. And for all of you standing under these, thanks, Ev, under these tally tote, uh, we know this is just one first, and there's so many to come. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Shehecheanu Vekimanu Vehigianu Lazman Hazel Mazel tov, mazel tov. So as they start making their way back down, I invite them back to their seats. I want to invite up again our B'nai Mitzvah students. Bring them on up. Hi, Zev. Bring them on up to the ark. And please bring your prayer book. Your prayer with book you. with you. And we rise for the Amidah. We're on page 46. Please rise for the Amidah. Adonai sefatai tiftach ufi agite hilatecha Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu velohe avoteinu veimoteinu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzchak velohe Yaakov Elohe Sara Elohe Rivka Elohei Rachel, Elohei Lea, Ha El Hagadol, Hagibor Vehanora, El Elion, Gomel Hasadim Tovim, Vekonei Hakol, Vezocher Hastei Avot Vimahot, Ume Vigula Livne Vinehem, Lema Anshemo Beahava, Melech Ozer Umoshia Umagin. Baruch Ata Adonai, Magin Avraham ve'ezrat Sara, Ata Gibor Le'olam Adonai, Mechayei HaKol Ata, Rav Lehoshia, Morid HaTal, Mechalkel Chayim Bechesed, Mechayei HaKol Berachamim Rabim, so mech no flim verofe holim, who matir hasurim, 
ומקיים אמונתו לשני עפר מכמוך בעל גבורות ומדום אלך מלך ממית ומחיה ומצמיח ישוע ונאמן אתה להחיות הכל ברוך אתה אדוני מחיי הכל. Beautiful, we'll close the ark. Close the ark and I invite you all to please be seated. We now take the time to think about those in our families, in our lives, in our communities, in our worlds who are in need of healing, whether that's spiritual healing, mental healing, or physical healing. And if you're thinking of anyone today, I invite you to say those names now in your hearts as we continue with a Mishaberach prayer for healing. Me. So now's the opportunity, uh, as the title of this evening would suggest, Celebration Shabbat. We've been doing quite a bit of celebrating, <laughs> and we're just getting started. So now it is my honor. I would love to invite up anyone and everyone who is celebrating something, whether it's a birthday, whether it's an anniversary, whether it's just you are just having a fabulous day and it's just you want to celebrate that, I want to invite you up. Maybe you're starting a new job. Maybe you're the parent of, oh, here we go. Come on up, all the way up, all the way up. We're going to come on all the way up. Oh, come on all the way up. All the way up. Come on, all the way up so we may offer you a very fabulous blessing. Yes, Mazel Tov. I love it. It's beautiful. Come on, look at all these fabulous people celebrating wonderful things. I love this. Come on up, friends. It's ours too, I love it. 11 years, 11 years, whoa, look at this, 11 years. What, 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 I guess, what, what, what day? Today. Today? Oh. <gasps> I'm not going to say that out loud, but okay. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I'm just going to get a little taste here. What are you celebrating, sir? It was my birthday yesterday. Your birthday yesterday, and how old did you turn yesterday? 50 yeah. years old. 50 years young. Nifty 50. Happy birthday. And what, what are you celebrating? I'm celebrating my friend's birthday on Sunday. Your friend's birthday on Sunday. Oh, I love that. You're so such a good nice. friend. What are, what are you celebrating? My mom and dad's 11th anniversary. Mom and dad's 11th anniversary. I love it. I love it. I love it. What are you celebrating? My mom and dad's 
anniversary. Your mom and dad's 11th anniversary. We have two couples here. Their anniversary. 11 years ago today. Amazing. Mazel tov. Go over there. What do we got? Cantor Shapiro. My birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Being here at choir. Oh, celebrating being here at choir. I love that I one. I love that. <laughs> As my sister. Oh my goodness, two celebrating choirs. I love it. And what do we have over here? Birthday and bar mitzvah. Birthday Very nice. and bar mitzvah. Excellent, Mazel excellent. Tov. I think we're going to have a very important celebratory song here right now. Here we go to all of you. A big Mazel Tov, Simon Tov. Simon Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, Simon Tov. Simon Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, Simon Tov. Hands, everybody. Clap those hands, celebrating all these wonderful simchas. And I can't wait again next year. We'll be right back here celebrating again. So with that, I invite you all back to your seats. I invite you back to your seats. Mazel, mazel, mazel. And while they're making their way back to their seats, I want to invite up Brooke and Mark. Brooke and Mark, are you here? Brooke and Mark, come on up. All right, check this out. Brooke, when did you have your bat mitzvah here? But Brooke had you, do you remember? Do you really, you're coming up actually to chant your Torah portion right now is what you're doing, but come on up here, come on up, come on up. I love it, I love it. Mazel tov, mazel tov, mazel tov. So, okay, so why did we invite up Brooke and Mark uh, separately from the celebration? Because Brooke and Mark are, is it? Is it are getting married on the 28th. They're getting married on the 28th. So we wanted to offer them a very special celebration. See what you have in store for your future. Look at this. Hey, we to go outside. I'm wondering what's going on. Don't, it's, it's fabulous. It's amazing. It's wonderful. It's the best. It's the best. So, Brooke and Mark. Our tradition teaches that from every human being, there rises a light that reaches straight to the heavens. When two souls destined to be together find each other, their streams of light flow together and a single brighter light goes forth from their united being. It is true that when two separate lights are united, their radiance is magnified and the world becomes illuminated in ways that a single light could not accomplish. So as most people do, the two of you searched for that right person that person that would change the way you see the world, that person that could make the dark times of life a little brighter, that person who makes the shining moments last a lifetime, that one person whom together you can illuminate the world. And then it happens. When you least expect it, your beshert, your soulmate walks into your life and the world is forever changed. You are each other's soulmates. You are each other's light. And we wish you all a big mazel tov. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Ian. Hey. Ian. Ian.
just there's a lot of mazel. The circle of life right here today. <laughs> this is just fantastic. I love it. Oh. Okay, Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. So before we continue, just a few, few, few brief announcements. Uh, first, uh, first and foremost, so just, um, just following our announcements, here's what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to invite, I'm going to invite um, our families with little ones. Um, you will make your way, and I'm going to let you as a family decide what little ones means. Uh, you're going to make your way outside into the courtyard where we were sharing a fabulous dinner, uh, where you will continue with Cantor Shapiro with Kiddush and Motzi, an opportunity for us to get together, because a little bit later we're going to be doing... Shh, we're going to be doing uh, the Mourner's Prayer, the Mourner's Scottish. So we want to just give respect to those of us who are thinking of someone today, that space. No disrespect uh, that you, we know that you are showing. We just want to give you that opportunity to leave uh, if, you feel, if you feel you need to. Um, so we'll be doing that. And then following when everybody is finished, right, we're going to be doing Kiddush and Motzi uh, for those who are remaining with our B'nai Mitzvah families right up here in the front. And then we're all going to be making our way outside to continue our celebration. Cantor Shapiro, let them know what we have in store. With Israeli dancing. Israeli with dancing Orly Sitaria, which is so oh. much fun. And we have a balloon artist out there who is going to be wandering around making balloons for people. So stick around. Also, there's food. Yummy Delicious, stuff to fabulous eat. goodies. So that'll be lovely. And I believe there's a special, something special for the seniors. If you're not sure about where that is, you can find oh, Kathy. Oh, for our seniors. For the seniors, go right on up to Newburgh um, after Kiddush and Moti. Right on up to Newburgh, and we'll meet you up there. All right, so also I uh, want to just share with you next Saturday, not Friday, but ne next Saturday, family, a family affair at the Glazer campus uh, will be a very special Shabbat family jam, Shabbat honoring and celebrating the 75th birthday of the state of Israel. We are going to be having music and games and such fabulous food, prizes and exhibits and opportunities to meet uh, interesting people and hear fabulous stories. So come and celebrate as a family next Saturday, May 13th, the Glazer campus at, 10, at 9 a.m. Sounds super fun. And then Friday night... And Friday night here, um, for uh, a more mature audience, um, we're also celebrating Israel, and we are going to have a special speaker from the Jewish Agency who will be here, and some music to honor the state of Israel. So please join us for whatever of those events appeal to you. We'd love to have you at both of them. Beautiful. I want to thank our amazing choir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's give them a definitely big round of applause. Ugh. That is the way to hear prayers. That is the way to hear prayers from these beautiful angelic voices. So thank you so very much. And of course, our amazing musicians, Cantor Shapiro, our fabulous musicians. We've got Ian and Larry and Ian and Susan. Thank you so much. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. And of course, also to our phenomenal religious school staff. We've got Rabbi Ashley in the back. We've got Emily in the back. We've got Kathy in the back. The Rachel best. in the back. And also, the we best. have a bunch of other teachers who are here with us. Thank you all so much for being here with us. And please continue your celebration with us. I'm going to take the small people outside now. Uh, so you can follow me. Uh, and we're going to do Kiddush and Moti for people who might have a hard time keeping quiet. <laughs> so I'm going to invite those families to start making their way outside. Start making your way outside. Shabbat Shalom.
be great. Beautiful. So as they're making their way outside, So now we take the time we now take the time to think about those in our lives in our communities our families who have died during this past shloshim this past 30 days Jacqueline Basharat Anver Judith Gabriella Benvenisti Diane Edelstein Michael Edwards, Evelyn Eigler, Rabbi Julian Franklin Feingold, Molly Gohl, Rowena Haas, Jeffrey Kessler, Brian Kravitz, Tammy Leventhal, Karen Levy, Gloria Mayer, Max Shaftal, Hillel Silverman, Jean Weiss, Linda Wolf. We also remember those who the memorial of their death, the yard site of their death fell during this past week. Pauline Adler, Frank Albert, Louis Applebaum, Aziz Astrozadeh, Ruth Astor, Ida Barkin, Irene Bastheim, Dolph Baum, Rose Bellman, Victor Bahar, Donald Burkis, Bert Blauner, Tony Block, Harold Blumenfeld, Harry Blumkin, Francis Bogenek, Tamar Bornstein, Jules Beauville, Richard Browerman, Eli Broad, Frank Castleman, John Catafo, Joseph Chizik, Mona Cohen, Theodora Copeland, Beatrice Curry, Irma De O, Yetta Davidson, Bruce Arthur Devlin, Dorothy Eric, Rabbi Morley Feinstein, Esther Feldman, Daniel Feldstein, Ben Fenton, Harry Finkel, Ronald Fishman, Regina Fleischer, Lois Jean Foreman, Joan Friedman, Harry Gartsman, David Gelfand, Herbert Ginsburg, Nathan Gitlin, Sonia Gallad, Julius Goldberg, David Goldsmith, Florence Sezen Goodman, Erwin Greenwald, Lillian Harrison, Arthur Henry Heisler, Ralph Kalish, Alberta Child, Shield Kalish, Ralph W. Kalish, Sidney Jason Keith, Norton Kirschenbaum, Selma Klin, Solomon Kokotov, Aaron Cosman, Milton Cover, Joan Kreider, Erwin Colin, Lillian Kaczynski, Saul Laska, Sidney Laxer, Eric Lesson, Jamshid Lolachi, Sam Miner, Beverly Miller, Jonathan Moore, Bernard Morgan, Fred Neidich, Nehemia Naim, Leon Paris, Doris Preston, Madeline Malin Price, Stephen Rettinger, Louis Rogers, Ethel Roseman, Burton Rosen, Anna Rosen, Anne Schiff, Louis Schwimmer, Rose Schwimmer, Selma Cesar, Elias Silverstein, Aline Wheelspeed, Louis Spiegelman, Harry Steinberg, Barbara Stevens, Sylvia Pankin Sutkin, Elise Teitelbaum, Florin Tisler, Tilzer, excuse me, Sharon Tuman, Samuel Tuch, Rhett Turner, Belle Virzi, Dorothy Walder, Nancy Weeks, Mikey Weiss, Ruth Wilkes, Barbara Wise, David Wolf, Albert Zlotnick. If you are here remembering the death of a loved one who has died in the past 30 days, the past Shloshim, I invite you to please rise and remain standing so we may support you. If you are here for the yard site, the memorial of a loved one, please rise and remain standing so we may support you. If you are here remembering anyone else today, I invite you to please rise and say those names in your hearts so we may support you. We also think of all of those who have died defending the United States of America. We remember all of those who have died defending the state of Israel. 
we remember all of those who have died from senseless acts of hatred and terror around the world. We remember all of those who have died, who have no one left to say the mourner's Kaddish, the mourner's prayer for them. And finally, if you know of a name that I mispronounce, please say those names now in your hearts. And with that, I invite all of us to please rise in support of those in our community thinking of someone today. We're on page 294, The Mourner's Kaddish. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shemei rabba. Be'oma divrach hirute v'yamlich malchute. Be'chayachon uv'yomechon uv'chayei d'chor b'et Yisrael. Ba'agala uv'izman kariv v'imru amen. Yehe shmei rabba mevorach le'olam omel maya. Yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitromam v'yitnaseh. V'yitadal v'yitale v'yitalar shmei d'kudesha b'richu. Le'el al-min kol b'rchata v'shirata. Tushpechata v'nechemata, da'amiran ve'alma v'imru amen. Yehe shlam ha'rab amin shemaya, v'chaim alenu ve'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. Osei shalom b'bromav, hu ya'ase shalom alenu ve'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. I want to invite us all to remain standing. I want to invite up our B'nai Mitzvah. B'nai Mitzvah, come on up, come on up with your families. Come on up with your families. Come on up, come on up, come on up.
Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei HaGafen Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kitshanu B'mitzvotav V'ratzavanu the Shabbat Kodesho be'ahava uvratzon hinchilanu zikaron lemaaseh v'reshit ki hu yom techila lemikra ekodesh zeche letziat mitzrayim ki vanu v'acharta. Fiutanu kidashta mikol hamim v'shabat kochecha be'ahavu v'ratzon inchaltanu baruch atah Adonai mikadesh. Hashabbat Amen L'chaim, L'chaim Alright, take a look It's for siblings, all the siblings of each family Grab on Every sibling, hold on Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Hamotzi lechem min haaretz Amen Shabbat Shabbat